Yeah, it's on. Right. I'm John Swanson. Uh, we are at the North Market at the Greener Grocer. Um, we are essentially uh, working with local farms in spring, fall, and summer, uh, and basically to get local food into the hands of as many people as possible to support local farms. Um, our parent company, uh, the nonprofit organization called Local Matters, uh, also works with local farms to create relationships between uh, restaurants and school systems. So we'll actually go through and do educational programs in schools where they can actually learn more about how to cook, um, what certain foods are they might not know already, from greens to apples to beans to whatever. Um, another way we actually increase the exposure to these uh, great foods and farms is through our CSA program. It's uh, called the Weekly Fresh Market Bag which during the spring, summer, and fall is a collection of 20 farms at any given time, uh, including dairy, it'll include um, cheese, eggs, it'll include some grains, um, apples, anything you think of. How much does it cost? It's $20 for a medium bag, which would be enough for two people for a week, and $30 for the large bag, which would be roughly four. Uh, for a four, week? Four people for a week. It's, uh, is there a, there a variety of... Uh fruits and vegetables and other things? Yeah, it, it, we try to get a good mix uh, every week. So we might have um, carrots, collard greens, uh, cheese, we might have apples, pears, um, you name it. I mean, it's really pretty various stuff. Anything that grows locally, we'll throw in there. Um, this time of year, it's actually November, what is it, 8th? Um, this next week coming up is our last fresh market bag. So the next week after that is gonna be the season for our kind of winter bag. We're gonna do a lot more uh, winter squash, a lot more grains probably some dairy, uh, although you can have a vegan option if you want to sign up for it. Um, and what else? Then that'll probably take us through March, April. So, and then we'll get back into the fresh market bag and um, that will be more of the uh, local stuff from local farms. But $20 for a bag for a week for two people, that sounds like a really good deal. Um, if you break it down, uh, it, you know the amount of food that you're you're going to be using is uh, it works out to be a pretty good deal, yeah, because you can stretch some of the items um, for you know a handful of meals. So if you want to kind of find out what's in the bag for a certain week and then do the rest of your shopping around it, you know we won't throw meat in the bag. So if you wanted to, get, um, we already have you know celery. We might have potatoes. We might have you know greens in there. You know, you need um, you need some cabbage to go along with it. You'll know in advance. You get some cabbage to go along with it. Uh, buy your meat here as well. Yeah, so. that uh, that sounds good. So what what uh, when's the uh, last time a sign up will be uh, for the the fall is going to be a week left. Can someone do that right now? Unfortunately, it's too late for this, too late, the, okay. the, for this recent bag. Um, so, but but it's it's a rolling sign up. You can go to the website thegreenergrocer.com, and there are links to not only the farms that we uh, access and and uh, distribute food from but also to how to sign up for the bag itself. And like I said, it's a rolling operation, so you can sign up at any time. How far are the farmers away? I mean, what, what's the distance? Is it like a 100-mile radius? You mentioned um, Four Seasons City Farm. That's obviously real close by. Right. Uh, they have kind of satellite spots it's on around. on the east side. Yep. Um, All right. We've got farms. Uh, a lot of them are actually within about 45 minutes away, so that translates to about you know, 20, 30 miles maybe. Um, some of them come from further away, um, you know, there's one that comes to the North Market, um, Farmer's Market on Saturday from down around Portsmouth, but it makes sense for them because they're coming up here anyway. Right. So if we're getting eggplant or hot peppers then, you know, for our bag or for the store even, then they're going to be coming up here anyway. We'll just call them up and they'll drop some stuff off. Right. That's a significant difference in, say, coming from uh, 1,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 miles away. There, there's a lot going into that conversation. Uh, it, it definitely makes a lot of sense to, uh, to bring that up. Um, Taste-wise, it's one of the biggest things because um, you know when, you, when something is, is picked fresh at the peak of its ripeness, you're really going to taste it. And you're going to get a lot of that flavor and the, and the nutrient value, uh, not least of which is really important. The organic certification process could be kind of tricky for some local farmers. So I guess it could be locally grown and they can not use very many chemical fertilizers, even though officially they might not be certified organic, right? Again, that's that's a good um, thing to bring up and, and worth its own conversation for sure. Some of the farmers that we've worked with um, have been in the past certified organic, but for one reason or another have chosen to either go away from certifying or um, couldn't afford it anymore, philosophically didn't agree with it. Um, 
but the majority of the stuff that we have in the store here that is local is also pesticide free. Right. And it's it's not really a certification per se, but right. it's something that we've we've kind of um, begin begin to use in the I got, how do you even say it in, in the industry I guess right. sort of the local market of farms and local produce. It's local pesticide free, right. which basically means they're meeting organic meeting or exceeding organic standards with their soil. Um, with what they're actually applying to the plants, which in most cases is nothing. So um, what they're actually doing is, is going beyond the organic certification. Um, sometimes organic uh, can really make a difference, but you, you really don't need to, to rely on that only. It's good sure. to really get to know the farmer, what their practices are, and in some cases, even go down to the farm themselves or yourself. You've done that? Yeah. I've, Actually, tomorrow I might be going down to chop some more wood with Roger from Someday Farm. He lives just south of here towards Asheville, um, who provides our firewood when he's not providing uh, summer squash. Um, yeah, he, he just shows us around his, his land and real proud to, to walk you through it. So right. you, no, I don't think any of these farmers would really mind you coming out and exploring their stuff if you have the time. Um, so getting back to it, I mean, organic is a really good thing um, if you can't do local, because at least then there's the, um, the added influence of the land being treated positive. Yeah. So that's a good thing. I'm glad, glad I finally made it down here. I've read about this and heard about it. I've even been to the North Market without knowing this was here somehow, some way. Walking yeah, you walk right in the front door and it's it or... sprawling out in front of you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Cool. Hey, thank you. You're very welcome. All right.